Hey DIYers, I'm George from AlarmGrid. Today we're going to be going over how to create an automation on the HomeKit, on the uh, Apple HomeKit, right? Um, hey DIYers, I'm George from AlarmGrid. Today we're going to be going over how to create an automation on the Apple HomeKit application. So today I'm actually working with my iPad and since the Lear controller is the only alarm system out right now that does support HomeKit, I have actually learned this lyric into my HomeKit app on my iPad. So I'm going to go ahead and show you guys real quick a couple of different features that you guys can play around with. Now what automation allows you to do, it allows you to create um, actions to happen uh, depending on the time of day, depending on whether you're home, or depending on a certain trigger. All right. Um, so for instance, if you guys have uh, some iOS devices, if, whether it's lights, switches, thermostats, uh, plug-in modules, anything like that that's HomeKit enabled, you can actually control that and you guys can set up automation and triggers with the Lyric alarm system that will allow you to, for instance, if you guys arm your Lyric system away, you guys can set certain lights to come on, the temperature to rise up to 76, 77, whatever temperature you guys like it whenever you are away from the house. But of course, you always got to remember, in order to use HomeKit remotely, you do need to have a HomeKit hub, whether it's an Apple TV, an iPad new generation that has the latest firmware update, and you can actually set it as an Apple hub. Um, I think I said the Apple TV, right? And uh, But yeah, you guys do need to have a HomeKit hub enabled at the house so that you can actually do this kind of automation and um, controlling of the system through HomeKit remotely. You guys need that hub. So let me go ahead and get me get my iPad um, situated here. Give me just one moment. So once you, uh, once you have everything set up, I'm going to go ahead and open up my HomeKit app, right? As soon as you open it up, you're going to see that I have a couple of lights, I have some wall outlets, switches, and then I also have my default Lyric with three door sensors that are learned into the system. So that's actually something very important for those of you who are looking to do HomeKit on the Lyric system. Keep in mind that only the sensors that are set to entry, exit, or perimeter, or interior follower, or interior with delay, meaning windows, doors, or motions, those are the only sensors that are going to be learned into the home kit. So just something to keep in mind. Um, now, I'm gonna show you guys real quick how fast home kit actually works with the Lyric system. I'm gonna go ahead and hold down uh, my default room Lyric. That's gonna bring up my options. I'm gonna go ahead and just do an arm away. Armed away, exit now. And if you look at the system, it did it almost instantaneously. I'm gonna go ahead and do an off. Cool. So I just wanted to show you guys real quick how do you, how you use the actual home kit with the Lyric system. Now I'm going to show you guys the automation. So first thing you want to do is on the bottom right hand corner of the home kit app, there's an automation button right there. You click on that. And since I don't have any automation learned in, it's going to ask me to create new automation. So I hit the create new automation button. And then remember what I was saying, uh, the automation allows you to do create, um, create an automation whether depending on whether you're home, uh, the time of day, or on a trigger. So for instance, let's just say I want um, an accessory to be controlled, right? So I'm going to do an accessory is controlled. I'm going to do, it's asking me choose the accessory that will start this automation. So I'm going to set the default room lyric as the trigger. I hit next. Now. I want it to, I want the devices to be triggered when the Lyric arms away. So I'm going to hit arms. The time, I'm going to put any. You can always change it. So like if you only want the uh, scene or the automation rule to work only at a certain time of day, you can do that. I'm just going to leave it as any time. And then the people, if you have multiple people using this HomeKit, using the same HomeKit login, you can actually control and decide who you want to have that act that access to this automation rule. So I hit next. Now select the scenes and accessories to automate. I'm going to go ahead and do my um, my two lights. So my default room night light and my second default room night light. And I'm also going to set the thermostat. All right, I'll hit next. 
Now, we have the scene here, and now it's up to you to decide what you guys want to do. So I'm going to make it to where when the lyric system arms away, I'm going to have the default room nightlight turn on, the second default room nightlight turn on, and I'm going to want my thermostat. If I hold it down, it brings up the, um, the temperature that I want to set it at. I'm going to set it to 70, 78 when I'm away. That sounds like good enough. Now, you can either test the automation right away. Um, you can do turn off. You can have it like uh, set to a specific timer if you guys want. Um, it doesn't really apply for this one though, so you don't have to worry about the turn off. And then once you're done, you just hit the done in the top right. And then your automation is created. Now, if at any point in time you guys need to pause this automation, you simply go click on the uh, click on the automation, and you can actually delete it from that screen. You can also, if you see the very top where it says "Enable this automation," you guys can disable it. That way, if you guys just want to have it disabled for a short period of time, but you don't want to delete it completely, so because then that means you have to recreate it, um, you can just use that enable feature, right? So I'm going to leave mine enabled. I'll hit done. Um, could not automation. Could not edit. All right, so let's just hit cancel for now. Um, another thing you can do, let's just do at a time of day. So I'm going to have my lyric system at, since what, it's 10, 10 right now, at 10, 11 a.m., repeat Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, the whole week. And uh, I'm going to hit next. I'm going to set my default room lyric, hit next, and I'm going to want my lyric to arm away. I hit done. So at, in a minute here, at 10, 11 a.m., the Lyric system will do an arm away. This is good for people who automatically want their, their systems to arm at night. That way you don't have to worry about doing it or in case you forget, you can always set your Lyric system to arm at 9 p.m. to an arm, to an arm stay. Um, so let's give it a couple more seconds here and we should see the Lyric system do an arm, do go into an arm away mode. <clears throat> Once the time on my iPad hits 10:11, the lyric system will begin to arm. Armed away. Exit now. 10:11 and the lyric system armed. Now, you can go ahead and uh dis disarm it from the main screen. Disarmed. Ready to arm. What arm. else can we do? So right now we've done on a certain time, we've done a trigger. You can also do location. So you can do when you arrive, uh, when you arrive home, time, any time of the day, right? You hit next. Now, what do you want to control or what do you want, what devices do you want to activate when you get home? I'm going to do my lyrics. So let's just say when I get home, I want my lyric system to disarm. Um, I'm going to want my thermostat to be controlled. And let's just say my switch in in the room and my living room. All right. Well, so right now I have the Lyric, the thermostat, and the switch. I hit next. So now I'm going to have my Lyric system go into an off mode, which is what, that's what's, what it's already set to. And let's say my default room switch. Let's just say I have a... Um, a switch at the front door and I want the switch to turn on to turn on all the lights whenever I arrive home I'm gonna turn that power on my thermostat when I get home I like to be nice and comfortable I'll set the temperature to 71 and then when anyone arrives home right so that's when anyone gets home you hit done and now that sets location base, right? So right now we have a uh, we have a, a time of day automation. We have a location automation, and we have a trigger automation, right? Whenever the system arms away, turn on the lights, set the thermostat to seventy eight. Whenever you arm away, it's more than likely because you're leaving the house. So that's why I set it to that. And uh, that's just a quick little overview on how you can play around with the automation in HomeKit. 
especially if you have the Lyric, there's a lot of different cool integrations you guys can do, especially if you guys have the HomeKit devices. Um, now, something important that I do just want to touch base on, HomeKit and the Lyric system. Um, HomeKit is great for, for the uh, HomeKit integration where it allows you to learn in the eye, eye control devices. However, it still does have its caveats if you guys are planning on using HomeKit only. Um, for instance, you can't clear an alarm on the system. Why? Because that requires two disarms and on the HomeKit app, you can actually disarm the system twice. Once it's disarmed once, it's disarmed once. You can't actually run the disarm again a second time in a row. That's something that can only be done through the system or through the Total Connect application. Um, and again, the other caveat that I mentioned earlier was that only Windows door sensors that are set to entry, exit perimeter, or interior follower or delay get learned into the HomeKit app, which is why you see here, I actually have my, uh, my back room, I'm sorry, my back door, front door, and living room door um, all learned into the system. Uh, now, if I would have had, let's say, temperature sensors, glass breaks, or anything like that, those would not be going into HomeKit. So it's just something to keep in mind when you guys are playing around with HomeKit and the Lyric system in case you have any questions. Uh, if you guys do, you can always email us to support at alarmgear.com. If you guys found this video helpful, make sure you hit like underneath, subscribe to the YouTube channel, and enable the notifications so whenever we upload new content, you guys do get notified. I'm George, and I'll see you guys next time.